that's another classic tit for tat you know do you do you stop the power plant and the time travel and the experiments or do you crash a local economy welcome back to juice labs Hey everybody, today we have episode three of season one of Dark. I'm Corey. I'm Clay. I'm Juice. I'm Jack. At the end of last episode, we got the big reveal. We got that uh, Mikael met his dad at 50, age 15, mm -hmm. and uh, he's officially in the past. Yeah, he is back in time. Mikkel is back in time. Mikkel's back. And uh, <laughs> he <laughs> in is. In time. And that's going to cause, we, we did a whole theory board um, I, I don't know, this could cause some problems in the future. I'm, I'm really positive that that mystery man is Mickle. Whatever he does in the past has to happen again. It has to, like, stay in the past because otherwise the guy wouldn't have wrote the suicide note with the letter that said, mm -hmm. don't open it until this. Because he has to go into the past and whatever he does clearly affects the future. Oh shit, so. So that's his. That's the mom. His grandma has been the past. Yeah. Were they trying to get Mads into the future? Do a little swip swap? Well, no, Mads, Mads would be in the past. Mads also disappeared, so maybe Mads is in like the Mads would, 50s. Yeah, Mads would go further back. But what about that? body they found in the woods that was a child. That could be Mads. Is that Mads? The time travel worked they both ways, bro. Present day, so he would have had to go on forward. Oh god, that's... You're a barren, dried-up old hag, so can you please take my shift? <laughs> you take my shift, you don't have a family. <laughs> oh, don't the you birds are that. dead again. Why would you touch it? Because remember, all the birds were dead at the end of the so last one. This, I know, man. Is this the commissioner? Because the commissioner was the one, I think, that opened the door and saw the dead birds, remember? Just, oh my god. That's like me when I'm trying to get a cute girl a present when I was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I like save it for a crush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a limp dish rag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's Regina. Do we know a Regina at this point? I don't know. I don't think I, we know. That wasn't on the whiteboard of names. Yeah, I don't think so. Bunch of squares. <laughs> New kid. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You think hey. if Mads went back, Mads went back in time to the fifties, we would see someone, another generation, who would go back in time, and we would get some post World War One Germany stuff. Yeah. But if we go that many generations back, this lady's name's Claudia. Claudia and Helge. Do we know a Helge? Oh my god. What? Senior prank, potentially? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a wolf? Yeah. yeah. Hey, idiot. <laughs> Does it look like a wolf? White walkers. Mm. They would have posed them in fun ways. Just a little spirally. You know who who always thirty three sheep are dead thirty three years between time travel. Yeah, that's interesting. Look at this guy picking it up. One sheep for every goddamn year. Yeah. Ich 
ich ertrage das heute. Wo ist das Jahr? 1886. This kid's in trouble. Yeah. I don't know what his plan is. He's gonna have to just get a job washing dishes, <laughs> <Yeah>. start saving. <laughs> He doesn't realize you went through a time loop in the cave. Mm. People just leaving this kid places. Like, Ulrich left his door open. Yeah. yeah. This kid's not great. With him uh, on his front door, and yeah. that guy's just like... Maybe it's that small town vibe. Yeah, yeah. well, it's pre-9-11. So, <laughs> and it's in German. <laughs> now, but then again, there's also a kid missing right now. Mads. Yeah, you'd think they'd watch kids. Yeah. How does how did er Ulrich not fucking put together that Mikkel saw like he saw his own son in the past wearing an outfit that he put on him in the future? Because well, he that's saw true. Him, he saw him for five seconds when he was fifteen. Still. I guess I how many people, remember. How many people would you rem do you remember from the age when you were 15 yeah. that you saw once? Oh god, they're gonna put him in a loony bin. Yeah. Does this kid, like, no one notices he's... I just feel like if I had clothes from 30 years in the future, people would notice. I mean, it's Is not... He, he's just not wearing anything special. It's just a red coat and a skeleton. Yeah, it's just unlucky for him. Yeah. Classic misunderstanding of what happened. <laughs> Futuristic kid comes back. You think he beat him up? He's gonna rough him up. Yeah. At least Ulrich's got good taste in music. It certainly <laughs> does. <laughs> and he's playing the, the video games. No of his future. Time. And he says he's the one that's tagging shit. Yep. Turns out Ulrich's the coolest kid in this town. Oh, this makes okay. sense now. I like that answer. Yeah. That mole is very distinctive, and I feel like we're going to see here in the future. Yeah. I'm also waiting for someone to, like, blow their ear off. So they can be that old guy that's rambling, that has his ear blown off, that knows yeah. what's happening. Oh, I wonder if she's going to adopt him. Oh, yeah, she's got no family. There's no record oh, of him. Oh, yeah. good call. This is so trippy, dude. This is like a whole self-sustaining town of kids getting sent back 33 years and getting raised by someone else in the same town. Yeah. And then, yeah. What the hell? How many people here in the gegend leben from AKW? We have 612 Angestellte. Excuse me. All. Jesus. And when you are on the post and that's another classic tit for tat, you know. Do you do you stop the power plant and the time travel and the experiments, or do you crash a local economy? Okay. Wait, what was wrong with all three? Cardiac arrest. Sudden. Uh, oh, eardrums are ruptured. <laughs> Name okay. a fucking so better it? segue, but <laughs> some sort of sonic shit yeah, knocking like, out all the sonic boom. Wait, did, did yeah. so, didn't the sound thing happen out of the cave? I already forgot. We got a bunch of blown eardrums. We got a guy with a cauliflower ear. We got sheep with blown out eardrums. Oh, the cauliflower ear, a ruptured eardrum. We had the medical person he, say he that, that there was a guy with I don't cauliflower. Know if it was cauliflower. Ear. I thought his ear was like ripped off. Yeah, it looked like it was in pieces. Also, so that off. guy who fucking the guy they found in the woods who was dead. The kid had ruptured eardrums. 
Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody's ear drums. From the fucked. electricity. Yep. It's a good line. What do you say? What we what we know is a drop. What we don't know is an ocean. Yeah, he fucking took that from Isaac Newton. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. We got a cavern. What? You think they have a better system than just a rope? We got a cavern that they want nobody to know about. Yeah, you'd think she would not go down in fucking high heels either. <laughs> <laughs> she don't have the upper body strength to get back out of there. She's dying in here. That's cool. So this is the this is the spot. And why is she in high heels, though? Hey, a woman can do anything a man can do. Mm -hmm. Play, fuck off. (laughs) Summer day, I want to use you. Summer day, I want to be used by you. Summer day, I want to abuse you. Summer day, I want to be abused. Like, it sucks that he's a kid, so he's just so confused to try to put this together. Yeah. But also, like, if I went back my age, I think no one would care. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, so it's kind of good he's a kid. Is there any way you can prove it? I don't think so. The only way is to just be like, fucking, what about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, 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 Look at this here? thing. What is this? What's going on? <laughs> he doesn't even know much either. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's so young. He can't just start naming, like, historical events that happened. Yeah. I wonder if he does, though. Did he mention, like, offhand in the first episode some shit like that? I don't think so. I wonder. I mean, you're just doing Houdini, which is old, thorough, and got to... Oh, oh, shit. Holy fuck. Well, okay. So they're storing the waste? That's bad. She needs to get out of there. You can't be exposed to this shit for too long. Those are just aluminum barrels. What is a horrible system? Horrible system. <laughs> you gotta bury those in Idaho. Bro, this guy so badly wants... To like get Ulrich from yeah, the city, he could just be he, drunk. He thinks it's Ulrich, but he doesn't. You know, if he something else goes up, he's not going to blame it on Ulrich. There was that noise again. Oh, it happened. Yeah, there's a dead bird. Every time that noise clunks. You think this is the old guy? Maybe. No, I don't, he's, no he's, he's too old. This guy's not lasting 33 more years. That old guy was very old. And they said, they said this guy's a booze bag. I mean, it's liver cirrhosis will be set. Yeah, in oh shit, bro. Years. Dude, what happens? Oh, God, I hate when this shit happens. What is this fucking... That noise? What is the power why'd plant you, why'd you doing? Drop your hat? I know, why'd he take his hat off? Why, and why'd you drop the flashlight? Well, I, I suppose this isn't a situation you're in a lot, but... Run, Mickle. Get back to that cave. If he just ran back to the cave and just, yep, he's gonna get sent to like 1950 now. <laughs> I use that, I use that Zippo fire up that cave weed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Come on, man! Oh man, you catch me in there, bro! Come on, man! That's kind of sad for her. And now, well, we, he's probably not gonna go back. She does have a mole. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh shit! Damn. Oh shit! What? So so that was Mike's mom. So that was that was Mike's mom. So I think Mikhail is Mike, which would be sad because he killed himself. Wait, how would he kill himself then? The guy who hung himself couldn't be the guy with the cloak, could it? Because, well, the guy no. that hung himself, his mom, is the one that got the note, mm-hmm. and his mom is the one with the mole that is. Mikhail's nurse. Yes, yeah, so, but that doesn't make That's true. him I mean, Mikhail. Right now, oh, shit. Yeah, we don't know. For yeah. Sure. yeah. Oh. Is that a compound fracture? I don't want to see that. So. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, is he hearing that? Oh, there is a time that it were to wrinkle. I mean, they're both in the cave right now. The space-time continuum is... Oh my god, is Mikkel on the other side of that door? The wires are crossed. And Ulrich's on the other side uh, of the door. Yeah. Oh, we can fucking hear him. Mm-hmm. Ulrich's gonna have to get, like, some C4 explosives yeah, to get that get door over. there. Alright, now we got a guy with a bunch of clocks. 
Who the fuck is this guy? This guy looks like a scientist. Trying to program a very accurate clock. Yeah, the music tells me this is more than a clock. This is what fucking Mickle had in his box. Oh, fuck! Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, shit! Yo, I wonder there if... It looked like there was three clocks on that. They're trying to, yep, they're trying to figure out if there is time dilation happening in that cave. Oh, man. Yeah, some shit's happening in that cave. Which what it certainly fuck? is. There was three clocks on that, too, I think. I do hate to say it, but, you know, that, that uh, fucking analogy does work here. Once they get closer to that door, the times just get, the space and time get closer together. Yeah, that's the spot. That's and then a it secret becomes, spot. It becomes a flat circle. Wait, so who Time was that old fancy. guy at the end mm -hmm. with that clock machine? We don't know. I don't remember. I, I don't think we've seen him we, before. No, we haven't seen him before. But he, that, I mean, we know we know where that fucking machine is. Was he the same the clock maker day. from the fucking Haunting a Hill House? <laughs> is he the ghost? <laughs> <laughs> I think, Dar I think I Darth Maul, who I'm yeah. calling... Uh, Remind well, me who Darth Maul is. Darth Maul is who I think <laughs> is Malik, but I called him Darth Maul just because I keep seeing him with that cloak on his head in the woods, and then he went to the hotel where he had the things, and he had that clock, right? So that clock, to me, seems like we gotta get three generations, because there's three clocks, mm. together clock to a, synchronize the time. Do you think something. the clock yeah. is a time machine? I think the clock is gonna be like the map to how to do something in the cave, or like, can we match up everything? Yeah, clock I don't think the no clock. I, mean, I don't like, think it's a time machine, a clock, but I think it, <laughs> maybe it takes. Well, he can't Never mind. be both. <laughs> maybe it keeps Mikkel time. Can't be, he can't be Darth Maul going back in time, and he can't be Mike because Mike is uh, he's like lived with Jonas his whole life. He's like he's not uh, traveling through time with a hood. Wait, yeah. who's Mike? Mike's the one that hung himself. I don't uh, think it's Mickle's Mike. But, no, I, I don't know. Mikkel either. Mike's mom yeah. is the one that was the nurse for mm -hmm. Mickel, and I mean, she can't have kids, so she got a kid somewhere. She could have kids. Yeah, you know, well, that's, uh, we don't know. She could she still have no a kid. Family. Oh, wait a minute. Well, who, so she can't have kids, and then they said well, that. Th we, yeah, we don't know if it meant. She meant you don't have a family. Too. We don't know that that's Look, Mike's mom, though. I do mean, we? Like, she we, was she ripped had, out of the photo. She had the mole. She had the mole right there. Yeah, but why do we. In the beginning, when she was ripped out of the photo, did they say that it was the Mike who killed himself's mom and Jonah's grandma? No, that's I mean, true. I made that assumption that was because why else would she be in the picture? That's what I made the assumption, too, so maybe, but we don't know that specifically. I, this is so much fucking. God damn it, dude. I mean, that, that definitely could be the case too. I guess because and why else I would guess... he, why else would she have the note from Mike? Like, who else would take the note and then not open it immediately and keep it from the rest of the family? Because the rest of the family, Jonas said he didn't get anything from his dad. He didn't know anything about it. Well, maybe she like she she had a little some inklings of this future shit, and maybe she got close with them some reason, and she knew how important something was. Like, we don't really know how she ties in too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, some stuff could have happened. Maybe that little meeting with the kid, and if she come if he comes back to her. Then uh, maybe she'll learn like a little bit and then take that note so seriously. Yeah. That's just me guessing, but it definitely yeah. could just yeah. be that I mean, she's I his mom I guess I could too. see it. I have no that idea. Mickle is Mike and killed himself. But why would he change his name? Why wouldn't he just be Mickle? Honestly, man. Just maybe because he doesn't no. want everyone to know who he is. That his dad is the one fucking his wife. You gotta throw this whole town out <laughs> right afterwards. This whole town. Oh is fuck! It's all yeah. fucked. You gotta throw it all out. Holy shit! Yeah, so, yeah, no, he Maybe can't, we be, can't... He can't be Mike, because if he's Mike, then his own biological father is having an affair with well, his wife. Well, not really an affair. Yeah. Well, not with but, his yeah. wife, because he's dead at this point, so I guess it's not really... I'm, I don't know, I want to know, can he interact That's... with people that knew him as a child? Because I think, like, does the time fucking... loop... Does it he's fuck already up the time loop? Up. He already fucking interacted with his own father yeah, and his mother. Yeah, but that was literally... That was it not doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how small it is. I don't it, think it doesn't this, is, matter. this is a very... Uh, the whole butterfly effect thing, I don't think they care. No, they don't. But if you go back in time and you, like, but if you throw a can at a time, homeless guy, then yeah. all of a sudden there's dinosaurs. Well, yeah. that... <laughs> like that Ray... Bra that. What's that Ray Bradbury short that. story? Which one? With the butterfly. The one that... what? When they, the, they... They, like do um tours of the past and they go back to when there's dinosaurs yeah. and you have to stay on their fucking path and some asshole goes and steps on a plant and fucks it all up yeah probably wouldn't be that severe but you know no, it would be severe man you know there's no way to tell you, you know there is thing. no way to tell but obviously 
usually. I, did, I think it doesn't matter. Like, show, it, I don't think it cares it, too much. No, but if I think of it, what happens if it's a big thing? Like maybe that's why he said, that. "I mean, I'm don't more interfere with anything when he died," because he was like, "But if you like, if you interfere into the sense that I never go back in time, then I don't." This is assuming Mikael's mic. Then I then I never go back. Then Jonas doesn't exist at all. Because I never would have gone back in time, yeah, and therefore exactly. I wouldn't have done any of that. So maybe yeah. that's why he gave the note. But then, why did he kill himself? We don't even know why he killed himself. If it was he was just sad, hopefully to prevent. Or if he was like, I like, I have to kill myself because there's no way I can not interact with something going forward. I don't know. I'm making this up. He could have no, just. A Sound of Thunder by Ray Bradbury. Could that's the have, short story. <laughs> could he have just left. I don't know. I don't. I don't. We don't know. have enough information. Nickel could be no. the cloak guy though in the room with the fucking clock machine. It did kind of look like him, but they all a lot of them look he's the same. He's just old. He's like Doc Brown now. <laughs> oh, it's a Doc Brown kind of clock though. You just set it to fucking Maybe. what time you want to go to, and then fucking. Yeah, it no, doesn't like, make sense. We gotta get back to 1985. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. I'll tell you what they have to do. I said it before. They have to throw the whole town away. There's too many paradoxes. There's too many loops. I agree. There's so no messy, way. Yeah. There's no way to Maybe right he... the ship. There's nuclear waste. All right, ready? In yeah, the goddamn get a water firing supply. Squad, Maybe bring him yeah. into he, town. Yeah. <laughs> he is the guy out. with the hood, and he knows he's going to be going forward. But there can't be two versions of him living in the same time. So he's like, I got to kill myself because I already went to the future with my future self. And now my future self's over here I'm talking out of my ass. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of. Why didn't why Mickle? If, now you see what I'm wondering is why if Mickle is if Mickle is a hood guy, Darth Maul, mm -hmm. why didn't he just immediately go to get Mickle, his younger self, and be like, "Don't fucking go near that cave," because then Jonas doesn't exist. Jonas well, wouldn't no, exist. No, that's well, not true. Because that's his kid. What? If Dude, it, if it's his so. kid, if I don't think Jonas is his kid, I don't think Since I think that, he said that's his dad. Well, which one? Jonas said that the guy that hung himself was his dad. Mickle's dad? Yeah, the well, guy Mikkel, who hung himself Mikkel's dad is, is Ulrich, yeah. Yeah, yeah Jonas's dad is Mike. Is Mike. But we don't himself. know if Mickle yeah, so, is Mike. Yeah, I, I oh, think... Oh, see, I'm going off, yeah. yeah We're getting no. hung up on the alliteration. I think Mickle, <laughs> I think Mickle is Darth Maul. That's who I think and it is. And is in a separately... They're all separate loops. There so are all we separate met, loops. Have we met Mike at all? Or is he just the guy that killed himself? Right now, the guy guy killed with the Darth himself. Maul theory that we went off of last episode, and we're still sort of with, we haven't seen Mike yet, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We, but, but then what, the mole is such a big factor. Yeah. Mole, yeah. yeah. That nurse uh, is 100% uh, like Maul. Uh, yeah. Hunter, oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we know who Wait, that nurse so, is, we just don't know, we're, like, we have to, we're left to assume it's his mom. And in this show, it might be his mom, but this show is so ham-fisted. In its exposition earlier, every character in the first episode was like, it's cool that I'm your therapist, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. I think they did that because we're getting into the weeds here. And I, like the oh, mom yeah. thing yeah. is... Yeah. There's so much wait, wait, backstory. So, in so if that nurse is his mom because of the mole, then that means he is Mike, and that means he was fucking Hannah, who Ulrich is also fucking. Mm -hmm. Well, Ulrich wasn't fucking at the time. I think Hannah's like, what? Five years younger than him or something. Like she looked like an eleven-year-old there, and he's yeah. like fifteen. Yeah, that looked like there was nothing going on there. Yeah, but he does fuck her in the future. We do know that. Mm -hmm. I already forget who did Jonas lose in this. Like who's Jonas? Jonas. He, is, I know that his dad's dead, but like who else is in Jonas's family? It's only him and his mom. Only him and his. Who's mom. having an affair with Ulrich? Who's having an affair with Ulrich? Okay. And then his best friend. You know, we don't know who his best friend. Why does Jonas feel like related? the main character then? Because he was the main character in like the first episode. Yeah. He was the yeah. first guy we get to see. I, but I think there is no real main character. I think yeah. we got like this whole right now. There's like three or four families. Yeah, <laughs> so no, like, there's like multi generations. There are two things that we need to know more about before any of this makes sense. We need to know what happened to Mads, and we yep. need to know exactly the mechanism that's causing yeah, what's this making fucking these thing. sonic booms out yeah. of blowing out sheep's eardrums. And why were there thirty three sheep? Was that a coincidence? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm more interested in that sort of stuff than, like, the time travel rules, because that's just, you could talk about forever. I, well, yeah, that's why nice. I'm more interested in it. I'm a fucking, you know, I, that, that's my shit. I For fucking, sure. I fucking love that. That's why I'm interested in. What are you interested in? <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below and let us know. <laughs> what gets you going? Yeah. What, what makes you tick? Our <laughs> Juice Labs viewers. 
tell you what, Kit Kat bars, that's what I need. Yeah, this man needs some chocolate. Uh, we're going to get some chocolate. We're going to refuel. Yep. We're going to come back. Episode 4. Juice Labs. Juice Labs. <laughs> also, right. if you ever send us anything in a mailbag, please send me a Darth Maul lightsaber. <laughs> don't send anthrax. Please don't send anthrax. <laughs>